this was uh, this was uh, nominated or sponsored by um, at Reboarded on Twitter. Um, I can't remember who that is, but uh, Reboarded he or she has been um, uh, very uh, friendly with the uh, feedback and stuff on Twitter. So hey, how's it going, you? Um, we're going to talk about one of the three games you nominated, uh, Monsterling, Wonder Boy Monsterling for the Sega Master System. So looking at the list, I mean, I don't know. I feel like this belongs at least in like in the top half of the list. I, I don't know how you guys feel about this. but Yeah, I I'm generally I agree. I'm looking at this list. Yeah, um, I mean, as one that we have uh, covered on uh, GC9X proper, uh, well... One of the very first games we did. Like, yeah, maybe, exactly. Like, I mean, or seventh. We are no stranger to the Wonder Boy series and its colossally baffling chronology and nomenclature, but uh, this is the second one for all intents and purposes. Okay, so we have we have ranked here uh, 22 games total, um, so that makes number 11, which would be Uniracers for the Super Nintendo. The so we we say it's better than Uniracers, right? Yeah, I, I would generally say so. More memorable in any case. Arguably, yeah, I, I, I'm going to bump it over. I'd say Unix is more unique, at least. It It is, but is it a better game? I mean... That's a tough part. I think I think well, a three it, against one, it doesn't really matter. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, Yeah, I'm going to bump it up. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I, I'd I, bump I, it up I, over Uniracers. Yeah, I mean, you can... We have, we have different tests here, so... Um, one test for for a game is if you say like if you only if you only could if you could pick one of the two games and the one you picked you could you could keep playing and the other one you would never get to play again for the rest of your life which would it be and for me like it's no question like I'd play Monster Land any day I love Uniracers this is a cool game but I don't think I I mean if somebody said you could never play this again I'd be okay with it. Well, I don't even know if I've played Uniracer, so yeah, that's not a hard choice to make, really. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it's a cool game, but it's not... I mean, it, it, for one thing, like it, by not playing Uniracers, that doesn't mean I couldn't play like Motocross Maniacs or something like that. That's basically the same. Or Mohawk and Headphone Jack, if you want the uh, trippy visuals. I find it I'd in... pay to never have to play Mohawk <laughs> and Headphone Jack again. <laughs> I find it amusing we've talked more about Uniracers and Monster Land itself, but I guess we don't have to talk much about Monster Land since we already have an episode on it. That's right, true. I mean, spoken for. Hmm. So let, let's let's consult the list again. Let's go up here. Is it uh, are we, are, uh, UN Squadron, Snatcher, GI Joe for NES? Like, is it in that range? I would place it below all of those games you mentioned because really? I feel that later games, namely The Dragon's Trap and Monster World 4, uh, outclass Monster Land. I mean, Monster Land was very good for its time, but it's kind of rough around the edges. It's got lots of... But those aren't really... I mean, those aren't really on the list yet. Nobody's nominated yeah. any of those games. So mm-hmm. so we can't really objectively you, you can, measure it I against I mean, you can games. consider whether it's like... But you don't have to consider it in a vacuum... Like you don't have to consider it like without like pretending like Monster World Four and Dragon's Trap and stuff don't exist. But like for example, like Super Mario Land is ranked at number five right now, and we all know that's not the best like two D Mario game, but it is that's pretty cool. damn good. So like for what it is, so I think like you can, you know, knowing that it's not the you know it's not even the originator of what it is hey you know we've got we made like a i made a like a diagram of like things to consider oh yeah I games like i this. remember that yes and you had it on two different metrics positive or you had it on two different yeah there's uh, like positive, positive and negative, and negative. <laughs> this is uh this is extremely scientific very profesh if i may say so um so like you know some of the things that we would consider are on the good side like did it do something um so it never stopped being fun is one of them, you know, or uh, which is one of the more important ones or like important because it's old um, or important because or, or good because Xerxes played it when he was a kid. That's me. Um, <laughs> uh, simple but deep gameplay mechanic, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then some of the bad things would be like uh, monster collecting. Don't like that. Um, or uh, open world that's not worth exploring. 
um, <laughs> which it which describes a, a, a depressingly huge amount of games um, or that it ruins something forever. That's a, that's another big knock against something. So, you know, those are, you know, but these aren't like the only things we can consider, but you know, it's kind of tongue in cheek, but not, I don't want to, I don't want to break kayfabe here. So let's just say it's the most <laughs> important list ever. Um, well, let's see. We're looking at this list. Um, I would probably place it above G.I. Joe, at least. Uh, G.I. Joe is an okay game. It's based on, you know, famous license, but I, uh, it kind of falls into that same sort of, I, I'm going to call it the Natsume action platformer genre. If you, if yeah, it's you kind of just like that. Contra plus a little bit more. Mm, right. Yeah. Well, I, I won't disagree with that assessment, but I personally really like games of that mold. So I was thinking of placing Monster Land just below G.I. Joe, but above Donkey Kong Country 3 at least. What right, a- I definitely agree with that, at, at least that it's above well, Donkey Kong to, Country 3. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Why? Yeah. Uh, so Tanga's reasoning on that. I'm just curious. Oh. W- w- why I like uh, the Natsume action type games, or um, or why you to well, yeah. bring Duncan Country below them? Just curious. Oh, DKC three is no. Oh, well, once again, I'd have to evoke the other games. It's good on its own, but it doesn't feel quite as fresh as the first two to me. Okay, is... I can work. I... Yeah. I, I'll accept that. I, I usually work with games by comparing them to other games. Uh, the like, you know, if Laser Time has uh, Wiki Paras, I guess I'm Wiki Tanga. I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> well, I guess one way to look at it is if we're comparing the two in terms of where they sit in their franchise, Monster Land definitely did a lot more than the original, adve- uh, not Adventure Island, uh, uh, Wonder, Wonder Boy. Boy. Yeah, true. Sorry, I get the you, you know. Get but the it, but there, it keeps yeah, like the think. same like kind of like you know jump mechanics and the same. It's not like There's a, a bunch total of departure stuff in there too. Yeah, it's weird. It's like it's it is a very primitive game. Let's let's get this straight. Like it's it is a super primitive game in terms of. There, it does a lot of things that I can imagine that if it were made even two years later than it was, that they just wouldn't have done. Um, but it has a lot of cool stuff in it too. There's a lot of it's you know this is in the like invisible invisible secret era of of platformer action games where it's like um, you jump here and there's no reason to jump there, but if you jump there at the right space, then like you get stuff. You know, you get something secret. And so basically, w- Mylan Secret Castle. Yeah, it is very much. I mean, it wasn't made by Hudson; it was made by Weststone, but Hudson ported it to the PC Engine, etc. Um, but it, it feels like a very Hudsony game to me, um, and not just because it's a, it's you know tangentially related to Adventure Island, but it, it is. I mean, it it is very much of its time. Let's, I mean, I can't say that, but I feel like for its time, it is. Probably, especially among arcade platformers, I'd rather play that than just about anything else that that was out at the time that was in arcades. Like, except for like you know Super Mario Brothers, like Play Choice Ten or whatever it was. But you know, I mean, it's so Super Mario, but it's got like you know the interesting RPG elements to it, which was at the time really new. Um, you know, buying stuff uh, is really cool. Like when you learn where the secrets are, it makes the game playable. It's an interesting game in that like you kind of, you know, although a lot of it is like jumping in the right invisible spot and then something appears. So looking at it, looking at it that way, um, the, the franchises are somewhat comparable. Donkey Kong Country as a series is also built upon stuff being hidden, but this is like the third entry in a uh, beloved franchise and it wasn't very well received now, granted, I don't think I've played Donkey Kong Country 3. I can only be base my opinion off of others, so I'm living, or I'm playing the game vicariously through others, but it doesn't seem that exceptional even compared to the other games in the franchise, whereas Monster Land kind of took the um, the Wonder Boy franchise in a very interesting direction, one that it never actually, um, one that it never steered away from after that right. point. Right, it was, a, it was a winning game formula, structured, so but yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, to be honest, like I would put it and uh, mine is not like the, the be all end all vote here, but but I, I would put it above UN Squadron below Super Mario Land. I mean, I, I'm even tempted to put it above Super Mario Land just because Super Mario Land is, is basically Super Mario Brothers on Game Boy. But I feel like I'd rather play in a lot like if I could only pick 
one of the two of them to play for the rest of them, you know, to play again, or even to bring on a seven hour plane trip, I pick Super Mario Land. Okay. Yeah, thinking about it in that sense, yeah, I would probably put it above UN Squadron at least. Okay, so who disagrees? I'll meet you halfway. I'd place it between UN Squadron and Snatcher. Bobinator? Hmm. Yeah, I guess that sounds right. I have no issues there. What, UN Squadron and Snatcher? Between those two? Or between Super Mario Land and UN Squadron. Hmm. Huh. Do you know what? Actually, let's put it between Super Mario and UN Squadron. Okay, all right. Because okay. it's a similar genre, just maybe not quite as good right. or as polished. I, 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 you I, are you are a uh, gamer after my own heart. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> He's agreed with me on every single split so far. Have you noticed that? I mean, we're only on episode two, but still. Okay, so that's it. Somebody has to be a tiebreaker. All right, I'll I'll acquiesce to that with the caveat that. That one really evil twin block elevator jump in the last level is bullshit. But that is horrible. Monster Land is great. I'll, I'll that is horrible. Yeah, that that is one bad thing about the game. But for the most part, the game is is good, and it's not so impossible that um, it can't be done. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, with the, you can check it out on uh, what is it? GCR Next Home Video, our, our YouTube channel. Yeah, you I can see a stream so. of you, Snarbu, one CCing it by accident. Yeah, I, I don't know how that happened. It just all came together. It is a perfectly. it is a legend. I still think about <laughs> My that. My only like, one CC to date, I believe, too. That's the sad part. It's still, it's 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 just like serendipity. I don't know how it happened, but it did, and it's preserved forever. It's kind of like that time I threw a basketball from the all the way from the opposite end of the court, and it went in, but nobody saw it, and I can't prove that it happened. But you can prove that it happened. <laughs> but it totally, I totally did that with the basketball. By the way, totally. It's like, it's like when I asked ranked every level in Contra Shattered Soldier, but then that memory card got corrupted. <laughs> it's like yeah, the time I finished Final Fantasy VIII and then forgot everything about Final Fantasy VIII, <laughs> so I can't substantiate. <laughs> I'd love to rank game. that one, but I'll, I'll, <laughs> before we get to them, sure. that'll okay, be interesting. Okay, so, 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 so. All right, moving on. So, uh, so right now, as of right now. Um, we're, we're putting uh, Wonder Boy Monster Land for the Sega Master System right between Super Mario Land and UN Squadron, which makes it the, what? Which makes it the, what? Sixth, sixth best? Yep. Yeah. Not, not that, I mean, we got to stop caring about like the actual number, but just saying where it is. So it's pretty high up there.